Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of vlog type of style video. I wanted to do another decluttering video. So if you didn't watch my other decluttering video where I showed you me decluttering my natural hair products, I will link the video on your screen as well as in the description box. But in today's video, I wanted to show you how I am going to be organizing my natural hair tools. So I will show you where I keep them and how I store them and then we will go through them and I'll kind of declutter. This is something that I needed to do, so I thought I might as well film it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at so Naturally Gwen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you the areas that I have first, and then I will show you the process of me decluttering. So we are in my room currently. Hello, my room's a little messy, so please um, bear with me. Um, yes, so in here I have my dresser and this is where I keep my natural hair tools. So I have this drawer unit. If you've watched my channel for a while, you will have seen this unit before. This is from homedepot.com. If I can still find it, I will link it in the description box or something similar. But this is a drawer unit. This comes in the multicolor version, but this is the like neutral color version and it's on wheels as well. So this is the first area that I have my natural hair tools. And then when you come out of my bedroom, I have my bathroom and then I have my laundry closet or linen closet rather so i keep sheets and things in here but on the shelf right here i keep some more natural hair objects and i have some youtube um materials there like cords and things like that so i will be showing you how i will be decluttering this area and then lastly in my bathroom here i have this around the toilet um shelf unit and i will be showing you how i organize my things here um won't be too much decluttering but i'll just show you the items that i keep in the bathroom so now let's get into decluttering the drawers that are in my bedroom all right you guys so i am here at my drawers but what i'm going to do is set you guys up over there and i will show you drawer by drawer i guess the ones that i actually want to declutter with you and then we will go from there all right, here is the first drawer. So first I have this top drawer, which just has some scarves. I also keep my sleeping masks in here and I keep like um, some bandanas and things like that. So let me just go through these. So I'm going to declutter this drawer and I will be back to show you guys what I end up keeping. Okay, so this is the drawer, sleeping mask, I have a headband, I keep this scarf that I use for turbans, a slap, and then these are my bandanas and small scarves. Next drawer. So in this drawer I keep basically, it's basically like my bonnets, like my main bonnets and scarves that I use. So yeah, let's get into it.
Okay, I'm done organizing. So I have a large satin scarf. I have some double line satin bonnets. If you're interested in these, I would check out my Amazon store. It's linked in my description box. I do have them there, the exact ones that I bought from Amazon. Here's another um, scarf that I use for turbans. These are like my stretchy, like triangle scarves that I love. These help to tie down my hair and make it look nice and smooth constantly throughout the week so I highly recommend those and then over here I keep like my edge stuff so this is like a very thin satin scarf and then this is a wrap like a velcro wrap thingy that I use on my hair straight and then some thick headbands that I barely use so I just kept the new ones and then this is this satin wire headband that I like to use when my hair straight it helps to keep the hair out of the way or if I have my hair out like in a natural state I'll use it as well just to kind of hold my hair out of the way but not um put a hair tie around it so that is drawer number two okay drawer number four I don't know I skipped drawer number three so this is four um so yeah it's just a bunch of clips I'll just like organize these around and see if I want to keep any of them it's something about you that's so familiar okay drawer is organized so i have some of these alligator clips i have tiny clips this one from Dollar Tree. Um, these ones that I got from Amazon. I don't love these. I think they're ooh, I think they're a little bit big, but they're useful. Like I can use them. And then I have these octopus clips, which I really don't like. I have this one from Dollar Tree that I got that I love. It's like really easy to open and it's like medium size. I prefer this one. And then I tried to get these ones from Amazon. And the shape is just like a little bit off so i'm just gonna keep this even though it's broken i'm gonna keep that and then i have these hair hooks that are actually cantu brand um that are from target so i'll link those in the description box these are good for high puffs if you don't want to put a hair tie around your head you can use this and you can even hook it and then go like this if you want or you can even do like one of these loop and then hook so you can do it a couple of ways and then I just have plain um, elastic headbands that you can either use as a headband or you can use for puffs and I usually like to put it and then double it so yeah I just have those and then I have just some black small rubber bands I sometimes use them not really and then these big roller pins that I usually use if I need a really strong bobby pin I'll use these so yes that is the next drawer okay next I have this drawer so this just has clips in here and then I have hair tools and things like that I swear I met you but you're a stranger and I can't put my finger on quite it is oh, but I've been here before Okay, I don't know what happened. Um, it stopped recording. But yeah, this was the final drawer. So all my combs and brushes. So I took my brushes and went from shortest to tallest here. And then tallest to shortest for my combs. Um, yeah. My favorite ones, I would say my favorite brushes. I love this one. Um, it's by Revlon. I think I got it from Walmart. And I like this one I got from Sally's. And then this like, I think Donna. The brand is Donna. It's supposed to be like a Denman-esque brush. I like this one as well. And then for combs, um, I like this one. And yeah, any combs that I can find, combs or brushes that I can find links to, I will link them in the description box in case you're interested. All right, you guys, so let me show you what the final drawers look like. So this is the first one. Like I said, some scarves here, um, like 
scarves for a scarf for a turban, slap, headband, and eye mask. The next one, scarves and bonnets, headband things, and edge things. Next is clips and headbands and things like that. And the last drawer was my combs and brushes. So let's move on to the next space that will be decluttered. All right, you guys, so this is the next area we're gonna work on, which is in the linen closet. First over here, I have these bins. They're clear bins that are usually found at Target. One has, butterf one has butterfly clips. The other one, I keep satin scrunchies. As you can see, I'm running low, so I might purchase some more, but that's what I keep in these two. And then in the one beneath it, I keep, um, what are these things called? Flexi rods. I mainly use the red ones, so I might get rid of some of the turquoise ones, or at least store them somewhere else to where they're not taking up so much room. Next, I have a clear bin that I keep um, black hair ties in. So this is another tray that I get from Target. I'll link it in the description box. Next, I have this container that I got from Dollar Tree, actually, so I can't link this one. It has three different compartments, so what I keep in it is my smaller clips. I keep bobby pins in there, and then I keep my rings and like my main jewelry in here, stud earrings and things like that, so that's what I keep in here. Okay, and then the, the bulk of my things, this container here, so I keep backups of things. So I have dry shampoo, I have this like leave-in conditioner for straight hair. I didn't like it too much, but I did try it. Um, a lot of my straight hair stuff is in here. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I like to use when my hair is straight, it's the Dove one. And then I have some of uh, my sulfate shampoo that I keep just in case I need it. Some almond oil, cheese straight guard, and then these applicator bottles. And then in here, I like to keep this like wicker basket thingy that I also got from Target. I just keep um, hair serum in here. This is my favorite hair serum. It's the Cantu Super Shine Hair Silk for my hair straight. I keep some hairspray, the Tresemme hairspray. I keep, I don't even know what this is. I think this is like an oil water mixture that I don't use. So actually I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't use it. And then I have my Chi Iron Guard, which is my favorite. There it is, this is the Chi Iron Guard. I like to use this for my straight hair as a heat protectant. So that's what I use it for. Then I keep a bigger Tresemme hairspray. I just have multiple ones. And then I have this other wicker basket or um, seagrass, I don't know, woven basket from Target. In this basket, I keep my oils. So this is tea tree oil, believe it or not. I have some rosemary oil this is lavender oil i have a little dropper thing i have other ones like this is orange oil and this is peppermint oil so i keep those in there and i like to get my um little essential oils from like tj maxx and stuff like that they come in the packs that you can get in like the section where the diffusers are so that's where i get my essential oils and then I just have whatever scarves that I'm using at the moment. I just put those right there. And then in this back one, I just have like YouTube stuff. So I have cords and some tripods, remotes. So I like to keep those in there just so I have a place where everything is. Okay, and finishing up, these are the shelves in my bathroom, like I mentioned. I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering anything because I keep a pretty like minimal setup as far as this. So I got these bins from Walmart and based on the measurements of the shelves that are in here, these fit perfectly and the color scheme goes with my bathroom. I keep this little cup for like pens and things like that. Rat tail comb, edge brushes, I keep my brow brush, I keep um, like a brow shaper and my hair shears. And then on the side, I keep two brushes. This is a boar bristle brush and this is like a, it's a teaser brush, but I use it for like edges, but this is like a heavy duty one. It really grips the hair. So 
I don't use it all the time. I mainly use the board bristle brush, but in case I need a smaller brush, I can use this one. And then in the back, I keep another one of these clear bins that happen to fit perfectly from Target. Mist bottle. I have this big bottle of Jamaican black castor oil. I have castor oil, regular castor oil that I get from Target. And then I have an applicator bottle that has my scalp oil in it. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. Um, maybe I'll do a shower tour at some point, but I think I just wanna show you guys my hair tools for right now. So I really hope this video was helpful. Maybe it was entertaining, I don't know. Just trying something a little bit different. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Gwen. I'll talk to you guys later, bye.